morning, everyone. Wow. All I can say is wow. Not a cloud in the sky. So blue. I've no, I just haven't seen the sky this blue ever. I think it's maybe because we're above cloud line, I suppose, maybe. Anyways, um, I didn't sleep well. I slept long, but I didn't sleep well. I'm having trouble breathing. The thing about lungs, um, lung capacity and COPD, I have COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Uh, it's an autoimmune, it's due to stress that I've had in my life. And I um, find that the heavier I am, the more body mass that the lungs have to service, uh, the harder it is on you. So I did put on 12 pounds, like I said earlier. <laughs> I put on 12 pounds uh, during that month off. And so I just got to tough it out. You know, we're going up to 10,000 feet today. Uh, going to try to get to the downhill. And that puts me in a good position to get into Cabazon within two days. Uh, so it'll be a three-day total into Cabazon. Maybe four. Uh, I have enough food for five, so I'm good. Right now, I'm looking at a, a big climb, to about two, well, I mean, about two miles, 2,000 feet. So, I mean, it's it's pretty steep. It's nothing like, I mean, I don't know how they call this an equestrian trail. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't know how a horse could, could do this, but at any rate, <laughs> I'm rambling. <laughs> I ramble. I do that. Um, have a look around. This is amazing. So just to let you know that this is how rough the winter was this year. Look at the damage it caused. And there's still snow. There's pockets of snow here all around. Um, but you can just see the destruction. Massive destruction here. It's kind of sad, really. I would say one-fifth of the trees have been knocked down or damaged. It's pretty bad. But nature has a way of replenishing itself. It's pretty wonderful, actually, the way nature is. I mean, that's why I hike, just to be out here, to watch it, to observe it. Because in the end, that's all we are. We're just observers. We get to enjoy what nature has. Look up there, you can see the peak. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't have a zoom lens, so. I just use prime lenses. Yeah, look at this tree. Look at that little nubby thing. How did that tree ever want to grow that way? I'll never know. So cool. See what I do here is, this is a trekking pole tent, it's a Z-Pax duplex, and it really requires the center column here to be very strong. So what I did this time around is I brought in the regular groundhogs, not the minis, just for the two sides. And I'm using minis on all the other corners. Now I have to put rocks on them because there's this is mostly sand, but just wanted to point out to you something I'm doing to sort of alleviate the issue with the sand. So, yeah. There's a chunk of snow right there. Right behind me, I didn't even know it was there. Look at that rock, it's so pretty. Beautiful. Okay, one last check around. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay, we're off. Yeah, I'm having a, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a hard time breathing, but that's okay. It'll all sort itself out once I lose a little bit of weight. Uh, and I'm purposely going to attempt to do so, at least for a little while anyways. Quite a bit of snow up here. Oh, 
Well, I'm noticing on the north side of Jacinto here, it's uh, a lot more snow. Like right on the trail. Oh boy, that's slushy. Okay, I gotta put the camera away. or salamander, whatever you call them, not quite sure. Good morning everyone. Um, anyway, what I ended up doing was uh, had some trouble on, on San Jacinto with the snow and with breathing. I didn't have spikes. I didn't have uh, an axe or anything. I wouldn't have needed an axe anyway, but I got halfway up there and honestly I started having trouble with the altitude. Uh, being, I shouldn't have come right in the middle of the altitude because there were so many mountains prior to this to get you conditioned for it and going away from it for a month. At least that's what I'm thinking. So I'm using these inhalers. Uh, and Fuller Ridge is still pretty sketchy. So I'm just gonna go on from here tomorrow and 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 go forward and come back for this section because when I leave here, I'll be probably getting, going out of LA anyways. Probably the best uh, airport to leave. So we'll enjoy the zero, need it. <laughs> My legs are killing me from that climb.